extreme weather events are becoming more extreme and it's important that official emergency messaging resonates with the given community. But studies suggest that different messaging appeals actually have varying levels of efficacy depending on the location. This might be due to a community's weather culture or weather identity. So the cumulative experiences of a given community that shape the people's risk perception and responses to weather information. So we have been analyzing social media content from different regions across the US that all experience destructive hurricanes. So Jersey Shore, Gulf Coast, and of course, Florida. And what we are seeing is that the content related to what it means to be a Floridian and the essence of a Floridian's identity is deeply tied to hurricanes. And that real Floridians, true Floridians, aren't scared of them. And we're not seeing that from the other regions. We know that social cues play a really important role in the evacuation decision-making process. And now social media lets us take in hundreds of those social cues a minute. But with TikTok, we are taking in those social cues from people we do not know. So you're scrolling and you come across a video mocking the people buying cases of water and it has thousands of likes signaling to you that thousands of people agree preparing in this way is laughable. It might make you second guess your preparation decisions and threaten your identity as a member of your community. So in our next steps, we're trying to understand how does social media shape this identity? How does weather culture impact evacuation and preparation decisions? And to what extent do the cues we take in via social media actually impact behavior?